Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to create tab box in Shiny Dashboard package. In the previous video, we saw how to create a box and then we had plots in them, input widgets in them, and so on. In this video, you can see that we have got one box and in that space we have different tabs and each tab has got a different plot it might have other widgets as well but for demonstration what we have is we have got three tabs tab 1 has got a scatter plot tab 2 has got histogram and tab 3 has got another scatter plot so what what we see is in the same space we have accommodated three different things using tabs it's pretty similar to the tabs we have in shiny package on the right hand side we have tabs but the way it differs from the first one is the tabs are on the right hand side and so you can see that the navigation is from the right hand side. We have got tab 1 here on the right extreme right, then tab 2, and then tab 3. We are in the UI.R and we'll be learning two new functions, tab box and tab panel. We'll start with loading the required packages. We'll load Shiny, Shiny Dashboard, Plotly, and Datasets packages. Plotly will be used to create the plots and datasets because we'll be using the empty cars dataset. We've got shiny UI in that we've got dashboard page function. We have the title inside the dashboard header function. Then we've got dashboard sidebar. We have a menu item here named tab box and the tab name is charts. We also give, we also have icon with a check mark and the, its name is check. In the dashboard body, we have got tab items and in that we have a tab item called charts. This is the same as the tab name given here. And we have a fluid row in that we have got tab, two tab boxes, tab box one, tab box two. If you recall, the tab box one was the one on the left hand side so this is the code for that on the right hand side we have got we had another tab box and this is the code for that we've defined the id as tab chart one and then different tabs were nothing but tab panels so we say tab panel function tab one and whatever we want to display there it may be a chart or a widget in this case we had a chart or a plot which was coming from the plotly so we have got plotly output plot one and similarly we have got all the three plots here in different tabs or tab panels the tab box which we had on the right hand side had one difference it had the navigation from the right hand side so if you recall the extreme right we had tab one and we can achieve that by using an argument called side equals right. This is the only difference between the first tab box and the second tab box. Rest is same. Okay, let's move on to the server.r and see what's in there. In server.r, we have got a couple of render plotly functions. We, this is nothing but we are creating the plotly plots using empty cars data set so this is the first scatter plot we had there and the second one which was a histogram and then the third plotly plot 